Hello, my name is Greg Ferguson. Uh, this is Safe Conveyor. Uh, this video is being made to show you one of our um, custom models that we built for operating systems that feed parts into an automated machine center. It's a, a double-decker system with two bi-directional di conveyors. One is feeding the products and getting them ready to be picked up, and the other is taking them away so when they're, they're completed, they can be stored here. So it all starts at this end. This would be where the blanks would be loaded into the lower unit. On this particular model, they'd be loading metal blanks into these tracks. I'm just going to put a few of them here so you can get the idea. Put some jars in here. And once a line is loaded, the operator would then feed it forward. And then they would load it up. So this would be something you might do the night at night before you were going home, setting this up loading this up. Now you eventually get this all completely loaded in until the parts are running at the other end and that's where your your robot or your control system is going to pick it up and once it's processed it's going to be taken out of the machine and placed on this top conveyor where it'll run down and accumulate. Hopefully we get that down to the end. Now both systems are variable speed and they can be operated by the standard uh, controllers that are on the robots to turn them on, start and stop them. So you can basically do this with a, um, a signal and tell it to go on for a few seconds. And again, the, the guide rail systems are going to be custom. So this would now be sitting here, and as the parts are needed, the robot's going to take one, and process it through the machinery, and get rid of it, and come and take another one, process it, get rid of it, maybe put it just directly above here once it's done. So it may be minutes or a long time, depends on how long your process is for, for machining. And eventually all these parts are going to come down here. And this is where you would turn the, the line back on with your robot, or do it with the button. Then you feed up another row, bypass, you know, go past it a little bit, and shut off. Now it's reloaded, and this whole process gets repeated. And this is going to run for however long you need to run it based on how many parts you can fit on here. So this is the system we build assembly with the conveyors, the modular plastic belt. We did this guide rail system which is fully adjustable. And basically this was a system that was uh, customized per uh, the application that was needed using pretty much 9% standard componentry. The conveyors, the stands, the multi-level brackets. This part here being uh, a bit custom that we did off for the customer. Hopefully uh, you'll find something here that might be something you're looking for and we'd be happy to quote you on that. Thank you.